hello friends today we are going to see how to set up OS login this is a feature through which you can SSH into your virtual machines on Google Cloud without actually generating SSH, public SSH keys on your on your local system and sending uh, private uh, creating public and private SSH keys on your local system adding the public keys to your SSH metadata in your Google Cloud project you know you don't have to do any of those things this feature enables you to log into your virtual machines using your own account but without exchanging your 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 SSH keys or adding your SSH keys to the metadata this is a preferred way of doing it because this allows you to you know maintain a consistent user identity across virtual machines and it makes it easier for you to just log into the systems without worrying about whether your SSH keys are there in the system or not otherwise you have to send your public SSH key to to the system administrator and he will have to go and add those keys to the virtual machine and then you have to go and you know uh, SSH to the system it's a it's a cumbersome process instead of that you do this OS login uh, you, you you set up OS login and instead of exchanging SSH keys you should be able to log into your virtual machines without without doing so much hard work so let's see how do we actually get started with that so we have this brand new project and the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to create an IAM user there is a service account that we are going to create this service account we are going to use to associate that with our virtual machine so we come to service account this is the default service account we do not want to use that we want to create a separate service account so just say uh, my compute engine service account go and create that role we don't really want to do anything here other than we want to give it a role which is you know not gonna do anything so we will actually just give it uh, the log the role for the login so we'll just say this guy can only view the logs that's it and we are done perfect so this is the service account that we will use in order to set up our, our virtual when we set up our virtual machine so let's go ahead and set up our virtual machine and say create we are going to leave the name as is we are going to change this to us is 4 and we are going to change the operating system to Ubuntu uh, instead of saying that service account I'm going to say use my compute engine service account that we just created now here comes the part where how do you enable OS login so if you scroll down in this article around here it has very uh, clear cut instructions how to do that so you add this OS enable minus OS login to your project metadata and you set the value to true that is it you don't have to do anything now you can see here there are no SSH keys I have added to this uh, virtual machine or I have not done any enabled any you know project wide SSH keys or anything you know, there, are, there are no SSH keys here and I'm gonna block this just for the sake of it so nobody can SSH into the system with the SSH key that's that's that ship has sailed down so it's creating the virtual machine and when it's done creating the virtual machine we will see what to do
okay so it has created the virtual machine now this account is under an organization called not your father's cloud so if you see here this is my organization and I have created all these accounts under here so what we want to do is we want to come back to we want to first of all we want to create replicate how it is gonna work in production right so we want to create some account so we come here and we go to identity and access management go to identity and organization and through the admin console I'm gonna say create a user okay so we click on add new user and we're gonna call him my awesome developer one Okay, now that we have the user created, uh, let's come back here and change this from to our project. And we say add the user. Let's try one more time. that we want to give is in compute so let's go to compute engine and there are two roles compute OS admin login and compute OS login if I assign user to compute OS admin login the user will be able to act as a root so he should be able to do the sudo and if I do not if I if I assign user to OS login then he or she will not be able to act as a root user so we don't really have to worry about that right now so now that we have uh, my awesome developer one in here let's see what happens cloud auth login say okay so we are now authenticated with Google Cloud SDK now we now we are gonna act as my awesome developer one so anything that we do we will do as my awesome developer so in order for us to SSH using OS login we can't really use SSH you know a secure shell client we have to use Google SDK SSH you know a command to do that so this is how that command looks like so we say gcloud compute SSH project we give the project ID we give the zone where the virtual machine is and then we give the virtual machine name and let's copy this and paste it here and see what happens it's gonna give me an error but I wanna show you why this error is happening so we gave the user one access now what is happening is it is saying permission denied because the user is not added as a member to the service account so the, it, it says that okay this user can SSH into the system but 
because our system our virtual machine is is secured or is is associated with a service account we have to say that this user can act as a service account so for that it's pretty easy we come to service account and we select this service account this is the service account that we associated with our virtual machine we select the account and we click on show info panel here and then we say add member so we have to add this uh, user my awesome developer one and the role that we want to give is service account user so if you scroll over here you come to service accounts and you say service account user and you say save and this is pretty much it so now if I come here clear it up it takes a few seconds maybe a minute or something for it to nope it's it's already done so you saw that previously I had an error because I did not add user to the service account I added the user to service account and it is all working so this is pretty good pretty nice uh, this is it you know there is not much here so if there is something that I missed to explain please let me know otherwise happy Google Cloud journey thank you bye bye